Ja, liebe Zuschauer, jetzt haben wir ein ganz besonderes Interview. Ich freue mich sehr, unsere indische Delegation hier vor dem Mikrofon zu haben. Dear Botta, a very warm welcome to you. So I know it's not the first time here in Europe, it's the second time we met the first time in, in Amstetten uh, 2016. So was it possible for you and your organization to improve the activities, to gain the athletes? How was it? Exactly. Uh, but from 2016, uh, we've been a bit busy uh, developing uh, the program at home, having a roadmap to come again for the next tournament. Uh, we had uh, many people in different states. Uh, we organized a couple of uh, events in the summer, Ashtok, and as well as in winter. More than 200 participants participated. Then we um, properly trained them, and we choose players who are good at it. And then we uh, have a camp so that they can come over here. And uh, this time uh, we are looking for the better performance uh, for the game because it's really getting interesting uh, once we get um, Olympic confirmation. Uh, even our state, uh, they are, our country is really concerned about uh, being a part of a, a winter sport. And me, myself from Kashmir, uh, a part, uh, we have a great uh, ice over there. We have a natural ice rink, we played on that. And it's really good to be here again. I saw an amazing event in summer in Kashmir with approximately 50 people, I think, was it? Was it? it was 250. 250. Oh, wow, amazing. And do you have also a lot of trainers there and the organizational team? Uh, yeah, we, we have a proper organization. We're working uh, along under 70 members. Uh, so uh, we have a different trainers at all age groups, 14, 16, 17, 23, and seniors, uh, even the females as well. But the only thing is uh, uh, to flying over here and uh, the, the tour, it costs more. Yeah, it's very much expensive. So that's why we always bring the short teamers so that uh, they can participate. Okay. How difficult is, this, uh, is it for you and your organization to come to Europe to participate on European championships or on worldwide championships? Uh, see, it's always great uh, to be the part of uh, a great uh, tournaments like uh, we have a championship from the world championship level. Um, we uh, ha in earlier, uh, as you know, earlier we had an Asian championship in China. So we were the pioneers and uh, we were there in Asia. We are probably the number one because uh, only China and a couple of more, uh, a couple of more countries are playing. So as far as that concern is come, we are the we are the uh, we are the on the top food chain of the Asia. So <laughs> it's good for us. So we love to come and compete on the bigger grounds. It's a bigger ground where all of the world, not from Europe for the other continents, came over here. Like uh, Aussies are here, Canadians are here, Namibia. Kenya, so uh, you meet very different diversities of the people. Uh, it feels good and it feels really prejudiced to have uh, interacted with a lot of different people with different cultures. Absolutely amazing. I like this really. So very, very good. Um, one of the last questions is what are the exact um, targets for this championship here in Italy for you? Uh, our target is uh, to make a uh, uh, to make a statement that uh, we can be the part of an uh, Olympic event because uh, in Olympia only top 20 teams qualify. So we will be looking forward for uh, to make a mark and uh, higher our ranks so that we can definitely be in the top 20 ranks and we'll be the part of 2026 as in India to participate first country from the Asia uh, to be the part of Olympic uh, in Winter Olympics in 2026. So all the best for this plan, yeah, for 26, yeah. for 30 okay. and so on, so it would be great. For all of us and uh, it will be uh, lucky for all of us. We got through uh, the Olympic Committee and they confirm us uh, our presence and the Olympic 2020. It will be a great boot for the game. Uh, more and more countries and people will come on all age groups uh, because uh, being a part of Olympics is a really good, it's a huge thing. It's a huge thing. As far as the history of ice talk is concerned, it's not the first time we are debuting in the Olympics. We debuted two times before that. Uh, I've been through the history and we done it before that, so we can do it again. And we this time we're gonna do it with the flying colors. Very good. So, Potter, I see you are very uh, fit also in the history, in the ice talk <laughs> history. This is good. Good to hear. Actually, whatever you want to do, you need to do it whole and honk. So that means you need to put your blood, sweat and money and your power, energy, everything on a streamline, only then you can achieve the targets.
Definitely, yeah. Thank you. So I wish you all the best for this week, for you athletes and for you, yeah. All the best for you. Make medals, make whatever, make experience here, yeah. And Surely. also stay healthy. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Ich freue mich sehr, dieses Interview geführt haben zu dürfen mit Botta, ein guter Bekannter mittlerweile schon aus Indien, der wirklich mit extremem Engagement auch auf diesem asiatischen äh, Kontinent äh, in einem Land mit mehr als einer Milliarde Menschen den Eistocksport vorantreibt. Danke, BÖE, immer am Stock.